What's going on YouTube? Dark World Mofo here and it is Thursday, almost the weekend after YCS Atlanta and I want to apologize for not making this video sooner. You know, I totally would have liked to but unfortunately I got sick over the weekend of the YCS and uh, I've been fighting it pretty much. Uh, you know, it, it, it got better and better as the days go by but I was still real congested yesterday and I still am a little bit today and I didn't really want to make a video Yesterday just wasn't really feeling it, but here I am today giving you guys the recap of the weekend. So uh, the weekend started Friday, left about uh, 8 a.m. my house, you know, our departure was 11 a.m. from Cleveland. We got in Atlanta around 1, 1, 1 it was me and my boy Kyle, shout out to uh, YDD. Um, we had an awesome trip, you know, I got to thank him for, uh, you know, getting the first flight booked and just me following after him and him getting the hotel and all that. So I appreciate that a lot, dude. I had a really good trip and I uh, can't wait for our next ones. But uh, we get in there, you know, the hotel's super duper nice. Uh, there's a pool, there's a fitness center, you know, there's a super nice lobby. Um, and you know, if I wasn't sick, I would have taken more advantage of all the cool stuff that was at the hotel, but I was kind of worn out, which was a little bit of a bummer, but I didn't let that ruin my weekend. Um, but we ended up going uh, up the street to barbecue kitchen and we got a good uh we got a good lunch we got a good lunch there and uh then we headed on over to pre-registration where i saw a bunch of cool people i want to give a shout out to kyle from the card guys aka spoofy uh he gave me the first shout out in his video and i really appreciate that man that's awesome um it was awesome seeing you it was awesome seeing everyone you know everyone that i uh talk about if they have youtubes their uh, links will be in the description so make sure to check out ydd Make sure to check out the card guys. Uh, give them subs. They're all awesome guys. Um, so pre-registration went good. You know, we had a we, we had a good time. Then we ended up going back, and uh, one of our guys got in around nine o'clock at night. Sean Sean Munch. Shout out to him. You guys see him all over my damn uh, YouTube channel, winning everything in Ohio. <laughs> but uh, he came in around nine thirty on Friday, so we were able to just kick it, relax. I unfortunately. Uh, had to play Cosmo for the event and you know not not a good complete Cosmo like I had planned on it I uh, I was gonna play Pepe and then they hit me with the adjusted list and I was planning on borrowing you know most of the stuff and then buying the rest then they hit me with the adjusted list and I didn't want to go out and you know buy everything just for this weekend so I was like all right I'll play I'll play Cosmo but you know I only, I only had two Dark Destroyers which which isn't bad but I would have liked you know a complete side a complete extra and I would have liked to have been testing that deck you know the week prior rather than testing Pepe and then switching at the last second but shit happens so uh, Saturday comes around day of the tournament and uh, it's packed man we get there it's filling up and uh, you know I see all my boys uh, real quick I want to shout out uh, everybody from Canada so Ryan Tom all of their friends I can't remember everyone's name off the top of my head right now but definitely shout out to Ryan Nisker definitely shout out to Tom I don't even know if Tom's ever gonna watch this video but uh, there's some awesome dudes um, Shout out to Mike, who I let borrow my skull cravats. I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name, bro. <laughs> Coco Davidis or something like that. I don't know. But uh, shout out to everybody I saw, man. Like, I had, I had such a good time, even though I got real sick on Saturday. So, okay, so anyway. Saturday tourney time. Um, I win round one, play Monarchs. Playing against Monarchs, he's not very good. Uh, round two, I lose to Pepe. Um, round three... I end up drawing with the uh, Ignite Turbo. He wasn't playing the Magical Library. He was uh, playing a little bit of a different build. And we had a really good game one. Game one took 32 minutes. I almost won it too. I was at 50 life points. I remember I came back with a Dark Hole play. And the only and the only way he beat me is he had one monster in hand and one Rescue Rabbit. And he, he was able to uh, summon Rescue Rabbit, get two, and somehow get out the third guy and go into Del Toros to attack over my guy for a game. That was his only out to that game one. So I almost took game one. And then I would have won game two in time, and then I would have been I would have been two one instead of one one one, which would have been amazing because a draw at a YCS is pretty much equivalent to a loss. Um, just because as soon as you get your two losses in that one draw, I'm pretty sure you're always going to be knocked out of that top cut regardless. Like you can make day two sure, but the way the points are set up, you're never going to beat the X twos. And then I looked at it the next day. You know, I think there were seven or eight, or yeah, yeah seven or eight X twos who. Uh, who didn't make the top 32 cut. So I'm 1-1-1, and then I'm like, all right, I, you know, I can't lose. I, I'd really like to finish X-1-1 and uh, at the end of day one and then just see what I can do day two. But uh, the next two rounds, I play against uh, Monarchs again, and I beat him. Oh, oh, okay, 
this was really good. So this was around four. I played another Monarch player, and he beats me game one. I beat him game two, and then we go into time game three, and I'm like, shit, man. I do not want to have another draw. So I'm at 4,600. He's at 8,000. My, my best play at the time was to go into Destroyer and go into Summon, Normal Summon Max C, because I was able to attack him directly with the Destroyer and Max C and put him at 45 to my 46 and see if I could win the game with that. But I luckily ripped the MST from my Cosmo Town, so I was able to do that and just go off and put him down to 700 life points. And that ended up uh, giving me the match. And, you know, that put me in a really good mood. That was a really strong win. And um, <clears throat> after that, I played against Pepe. Uh, the guy was cool. Um, definitely not one of the best Pepe players, but I still... It was still a good match. I think I 2 0 him. So I'm 3 1 1. You know, I'm looking strong. Four rounds to go. Really just want to win him out. And then uh, the next round, I play against another Monarch player. And this is a first Monarch player who, you know, more or less knows what he's doing. Uh, definitely the best Monarch player I played. And he, un he, he ends up beating me. So then I'm 3 2 and 1. And, you know, by that time, I had already started feeling crappy. I had like a really weird uh, sore throat, only on this one part of my. Uh, throw and I was like wow I've never felt this before you know it was really 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 rare when I that that I get sick and then you know or if it is sick that that's bad um but anyway I drop after that with four more rounds you know Kyle's still in it Sean's still in it uh I think Kyle's still x1 at this point um but uh you know I stick around for the for the rest of the day to see how my boys are doing when I should have just gone back to the hotel because staying there worn out with no food man that that put a toll on me and then you know closer to the end of the night I was feeling really bad I was like man I just got to try to eat you know try to just relax have a good night go home and sleep so it was already close to 11 so then we get back to the hotel and then we go out to eat uh, at this place called Spondivitz and Spondivitz was you know it was great it was a lot of fun uh, for those guys. Me, unfortunately, I was miserable. I had such a bad sore throat and my chest was hurting so bad I, I couldn't, it hurt to breathe and it, and it hurt so much to swallow. Like, like I literally, I literally couldn't swallow. It, it would hurt so bad. I don't know, I don't know what went on, man. But uh, it was, it was really scary just because I never felt like that. It, I was like, felt like I was having an asthma attack. It felt like, I, I didn't know what strep throat felt like. I never had that before. I asked Sean what strep throat feels like. I'm like, dude, I feel so bad, so bad, and then finally dinner's over, and we're walking home, and uh, that was when that that was when I was pain was the worst because the cold air got to me, and my lungs were so fucked up, man. It was really really bad. But anyway, slept it off Saturday, Sunday. I was feeling a lot better, but I had to stay in the hotel all day long, so I didn't get to go to day two. Didn't get to see my boys. Didn't get to tell them bye. Didn't get to get videos. So. That was a little bit of a bummer uh, for my weekend, having to just be bored at the hotel all day Sunday. But it was still Super Bowl, so that night, me and Kyle, we just relaxed, watched the Super Bowl, had a good night. And then Monday, we uh, we flew home. And uh, here we are Thursday. I'm making this video. But, you know, Atlanta was a lot of fun. Um, this is the first big event I've been to in, like, almost two years, it seems like. And I had a blast. You know, I really can't wait to travel to these next events. Um... Really, really excited. I might be going to Richmond. Um, I can't think of the other events off the top of my head, but I'm getting a calendar book. I'm going to write them all down. I'm going to see what ones I can make. But uh, one more time, shout out to everybody. Shout out to Kyle. Shout out to Sean. Uh, everybody from Canada. Shout out to Irish. I saw you, bro. Shout out to Cecil. Uh, shout out to Elijah. Um, I got some good videos coming up. I got some good ideas. I'm excited with this adjusted list. I want to bring you guys some really cool deck profiles, some... Uh, Magician, Odd Eye Magician deck profiles I got working on. Uh, I want to show you got my Performer Pal build, um, you know, new Cosmo stuff. Uh, it's going to be good. I might be going to States this weekend uh, in Ohio, in Medina. Um, I should be. A lot of my friends want me to. So I'm going to try to make it there. Hopefully get some videos for you guys there. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe as always. Dark World Mofo out. Peace.